In today's video, we're looking at a brand new power station from Pecron called the E3000. I'm gonna put this through a series of tests, look at what makes this one different, and help you decide if this might be something you wanna consider for yourself. This is a really powerful device. It puts out 2000 watts continuously. That's very similar to many portable gasoline powered generators. Now the next big feature is the weight. This one weighs 55 pounds, and that might not sound lightweight, but the capacity of this is 3100 watt hours. It's 16 inches by 12 inches and only about 10 inches deep. So when you combine that with a 55 pound weight, it's a surprisingly compact device. Inside the box you get this carrying case and inside you'll get two solar charging cables along with an automotive charging cable that you can put in your cigarette lighter. You can also recharge the unit using the included 600 watt AC adapter. But one surprising feature of this unit is you can actually get two of these adapters for a total combined input charging of 1200 watts. A couple of things to note about the quality of the power output, that cigarette lighter outlet is a regulated port, meaning it's gonna maintain steady power regardless of what percentage the battery is charged to. And all of the AC outlets are putting out pure sine wave electricity, and I verified this using my meter. All the cables and adapters will charge the unit using these three ports. The top one is your DC input, and that's where your cigarette lighter cord goes, and then you've got these two larger ports, and these are the ones that can handle 600 watts each. They've included six USB ports, including a 100 watt USB-C. That's a pretty nice feature to have, especially if you're traveling with a laptop. I also love that they put seven AC outlets on the front of the device, and all of them have these weatherproof seals. Now those aren't gonna keep water out, but they'll certainly keep dust and dirt out, and with this many ports, you're gonna have some plugs that just never get used, so those are gonna be really handy in the long run. Another surprising feature is on the top of the unit, they've got a wireless charging pad. So if you're taking this on a trip, this might just eliminate that charging cord for your phone. The E3000 is really easy to use, it's just got two buttons. You press the AC to turn on the front AC outlets, and the DC turns on the wireless charging pad along with all the remaining ports. If you want to recharge this thing at home, you've got to use the included AC adapter. Now it's simple to use, you just plug it in the wall, and the other end goes directly into the E3000. Now I really am not a big fan of these external AC adapters. I prefer the style that's used on EcoFlow and some others where they put these charging bricks inside the device. With the single AC adapter they give you in the box, you can charge this from zero to 100% in about six hours. But because it can take a second input, if you get a second AC adapter, it cuts that time in half to about three hours. And you could of course also use solar input to charge this thing up. And it's really impressive that it can take 1200 watts of solar charging input. You can even plug in your cigarette cord while those other two ports are connected. Now at home this is kind of ridiculous, but if you had this thing built in a van, you might have some rooftop solar panels, and you could combine that with your car's cigarette lighter as well, and that could really boost your charging speed. The good thing about the display is it's bright and easy to read. It's also a smart display, meaning it's going to give you some calculated runtime so that if you're charging the device up, it'll give you an estimate of how long it's going to take, and if you're using power, it'll also tell you how long the device can run. I also tested out some of the safety features. They've got built-in overload protection, and the device shut down exactly how it should have when I tried to overload it using two devices that were way over the capacity. They advertise it as putting out 3,100 watt hours of runtime. That's much higher than other competitors, and this device is priced considerably less. But I wanted to put that claim to the test, so I charged the battery to 100%, and then I run a small electric heater, but this device I have it connected to is gonna monitor exactly how much output this device is capable of. The final result will be the efficiency of the device. And when I completed my test, I was surprised to see this was actually 90% efficient. And when you compare that to others, EcoFlow devices tend to be in the mid 90s, where other companies like Bluetti have been as low as 77%. It's pretty impressive that they're selling this device for $1,700. But don't run and click that buy button yet because there are some things with this device that I didn't like. When I charged the unit up to 100%, everything was going just fine. But once it reached 100%, it just kind of kept charging. So I don't know if the meter was off or there was something wrong with the battery inside, but it really should stop charging completely once it hits 100% for maybe five or 10 minutes. The other concern for many people will be the batteries inside the device. They're standard lithium ion, and they are automotive grade, and they claim they are capable of a thousand charge cycles. But many buyers today are looking for lithium iron phosphate batteries that'll give a longer amount of runtime, but you will sacrifice weight. If they made the same device with lithium iron, it will weigh over 100 pounds, and that would make it pretty much impossible to carry. 
And lastly, the price. It's a really good deal at $1,700, but you have to buy it through Indiegogo, and that means you're gonna be waiting to get the product delivered, and for some people, you're just not gonna be comfortable to do it that way. But fortunately, Peckron has sold all their stuff on Amazon eventually, so you might pay a higher price, but if you wait, you could purchase it down the road. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.